Jim, my baby back there with me. Uh, of course, they got both of those doors locked. I tried to walk out in that courtyard, but it's blocked. But Jim, I had to come check in with y'all real quick, man. It's been a while since I actually recorded a video. But as y'all can see, ain't much really changed. I'm in this gym right now, 3 a.m. Getting this work time, man. Getting this grind time in, man. So yeah, man, you know, a lot has happened this since my last video. Uh, I'm not sure if I talked about the jewelry on here, but I bought my first pieces of jewelry. I already started selling some, made some decent profit off of it. Already about, shoot, about eight, nine X my money or whatnot, if not more, to be honest. Um, you know, I bought some rings for 700, sold them for 595, damn it, $600. Got some earrings for sale. Still got two items for sale, and I got 15 items more on the way. So, you know, always looking up for that. But my purpose of the video today, man, I want to come share something that was on my heart. Is um, sometimes God don't call all of us to be followers, but He demands of us to be leaders. Um, I was just in a position working with a manufacturer, where, you know. It was a good opportunity, but unfortunately, he is going through a fail in the business right now. And he got a lot of strain and stress on his shoulders that it just makes it hard for me to move forward because I like progress. I like results. And at the moment, at the rate that he's currently going, we're not really able to produce that right now. So I'm constantly hitting roadblocks, constantly getting stopped in the direction that I want to go in. And I was on the way there yesterday, but I take my son through by the shop. And car ended up breaking down on the way there. Now, whenever my car breaks down, I have multiple thousands of dollars right now to get it fixed. But sometimes I like to sit still whenever things like that happen because I feel like that's a sign that it's telling me. Um, I can't go rush and get it fixed tomorrow in Miami in a new city, pay whatever they're asking, knowing that they're gonna hit me over the head the first time through because it's a Mercedes. And most of the times they try to make Mercedes fixes be expensive when they really aren't, they're really simple. So I can jump and do that or I can sit still and I can spend this time to better plan, better process, better get a mental, clear mental image in my head of how I'm going forward, how I'm progressing forward. And I decided that that's what I'm gonna do. So instead of me just jumping right back into the shop with him, I'm gonna chill out. And during the time of that chilling out, you know, who who's to tell how it's gonna be moving forward, you know? The last day I was in, that may have been my last day in there. He might call me and tell me you need me for this and the third. Like I told him, you know, I'm always willing to give him a helping hand because I'm always willing to help in general. But I just feel God put it on my heart today that I got to build mine. And as much as I wanted to make myself a part of his to scale his stuff to a $10 million, $10 million business or company and get a million dollars out of that myself, who's to say that he would have gave me that million or who's to say things would have really went the way that I expected it to go, which is why I feel like God has kind of directed things the way that they are because there's several clues and signs that's been in my face that I've been ignoring just because of my own will, my own faith, and my own due diligence that I do and how I kind of keep things steadfast. But you gotta trust a person to be what they are and what you see in front of you. You know, you can't, you can't try to shy around it because that's when you're gonna shoot yourself in the foot. So all in all, um, you know, I'm taking it for what it is, and I feel God said, you know, you've been studying jewelry for two and a half years now. It's your time to get your grind on, build your business, turn your business into a company, and do things the right way now. My tattooing, I really just been grinding. I turned it into a six-figure income. Like I said, I've been making well over six figures for like five, six years now. But with this jewelry company, we're talking about a million-dollar evaluation, grow a brand out of that scale that to a larger evaluation or whatnot. But again, I feel God impressed this upon my heart, the Lord, and I'm gonna follow his will as always. So that's the direction we're going in. And a lot of times when you're following God's direction and God's will, you can't care what other people think because it's not on their heart. He didn't tell it to them, he told it to you. So a lot of times people are not gonna understand and it's not for them to understand, it's for you to understand and for you to press upon the direction that you're supposed to go in. You know, I found out some good news actually this month that I found out that Jesus was actually crucified on the day of my birthday out of all years. So I don't take that lightly, you know, I take that as a deeper connection with Jesus himself. And that's the son of God, and I feel I'm the son of my Lord, my savior. So 
Again, man, like I said, I know I ain't did a video in a little minute, and I'm talking real light right now because the echo in the gym is very loud, but I'm sure y'all can clearly hear me. You clearly get the message. And again, this is my road to one million, man. So a lot of this is not dropping and nobody's seeing this. It's fully disclosed. That million dollar mark coming soon. Once I hit it, it's all dropping. I may just start to release these before I even hit the million dollar mark just so people kind of follow me along my journey. But I don't like the way the world is kind of going right now. A lot of things are negative. People shy upon before they even give you a chance. So certain things I feel is better to do the work first. Let the results talk and they can't nobody say shit because you did your thing. And the results speak for themselves. So I feel I'm taking that approach with this million dollars. And a million dollars is just a start. That million going to be the start to start everything else. You know? But... But I had 100,000 liquid real soon in a few months. Right now I'm putting the pieces to the puzzle, jamming this jewelry, turning it up, and we're gonna keep turning it up, so. It's your boy Hard Hustle Man, AB the Jeweler, Armand and Co. About to turn it up, crank it up. Building the family generation, the family legacy strong. And we up, we out, man. As always, check out y'all.